You were going about your daily business of flogging the mindless slithering masses, covering the steep walls of your bottomless domain, when you felt someone yanking at your soul. After a first attack of unease, you found yourself quite excited by the prospect of being pulled away from a job that had started to seem kind of tedious and unrewarding. Boy, are you in for a nasty surprise. Hell Salabim, Accio Impum, rise from the dark. Oh, Hell Spawn, join me to orchestrate a symphony of destruction that will echo across the land of the Sidrian kings. Hell Salabim, Accio Impum. What? I did it! After 40 years of trying, I actually... Uh, I mean... I bid you welcome to the realm of Ardania, O oh mighty tormentor, spawn of the eternal night and underworld. Oscar Van Fairweather is my name, and I am your master. Or rather, think of me as your father. Uh, no, wait. Uh, not your father. <laughs> Scratch that. Definitely not your father. I am your advisor. Oh, crap. What have I fallen into this time? You can speak! That's amazing! I mean, I have obviously conversed with demons before. <laughs> Powerful ones, too. Archdemons and such. But tell me, what is thy name, Imp? I am Baal Abadar, the creature of the bottomless pit. Uh, I didn't really catch a proper name in there, but uh, never mind. <laughs> I will call you something really awesome. Something to inspire anguish and fear in our enemies like uh, Slayer or uh, Demon of Death or maybe just Death Slayer. Yes, that's it. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? You're welcome. Now, let's have a look at you. Spin around, spin around. Oh my, you look fabulous. Colorful and evil and radiant, like like a shiny red rainbow in the dark. You think? Moments ago, I was 15 feet tall and wreathed in flames, you quack. This incarnation stinks. Yes, yes, I understand. No doubt you want to know why I've summoned you. Well, enlightenment will be yours before long. For now, I can tell you this much. Heed my counsel, and I will give you the world. You'll reign in blood. Men will crawl at your feet, and you'll have thousands of pretty maids dancing for you in their unmentionables. Okay, now you're talking. Now what's the catch? Would you please stop squeaking for a moment? Now, before you can indulge yourself, there is work to be done, and before work can be done, you need to convince me that you've got a true appetite for destruction. You are testing me? That's absurd! You're a moth testing the bonfire, little man! Would you keep quiet and listen? Nearby lives a piece of trash named Malister Crowley. We went to school together, majoring in demonology. He was a pompous prick then, and now he's even worse. He thinks he's so superior, when in truth he is no smarter than your average doorknob. Your first task is to rob Mr. Crowley of everything he owns. After that, I want you to crush him to death. I will adjourn to my office, but we will stay in contact telepathically. So don't worry, I'll guide your steps. Just make sure you dazzle me. You're standing in my cozy little basement. It may not look like much at the eat moment, but slaughter, I promise you, slaughter. it has the potential to become fantastically nasty. To aid you in the remodeling process, I will first teach you how to summon a type of worker demon to help you. Why not make it two while you're at it? It's easy peasy. As a demonologist extraordinaire, I am of course knowledgeable about the fact that you demons perceive yourselves in a fairly odd way when summoned to the Ardanian plane. As if you were seeing yourself in the third person, through a picture frame of sorts. Anyway, to summon a worker, try this. First you right-click on yourself, whatever that means, and hold the button pressed. Keeping this button pressed will bring up a context menu where you simply need to select the Summon Worker Loco icon to summon. Morris. Complicated stuff, being a demon and all. Hope I got that right. 
You should also know that the amount of workers you can have around is somehow linked to your dungeon's reputation. Ah, you'll figure that out eventually. I'm Splendid walking. work so far, Death Slayer. Now, minions love to work and eat. According to Virgil Danton's Guide to the Rim of Hell, they are particularly fond of spores, molds, and fungus. Order your workers to repair this mushroom room so they have somewhere to collect. To repair a room, bring your mouse cursor over the room, click and hold the right button to bring up the context menu. Then put the cursor over the wrench-like tool icon and release the button. Nicely done! Food produced in there will allow you to summon more minions to serve our cause. We also need someone to cultivate and harvest the food, so let's order one of the worker imps to do so. Select the worker standing in the room by left-clicking him. Then assign him to the mushroom room by right-clicking on the ground in the middle of the mushroom. Great! It's working! Just so you know. Another option would have been to bring up the context menu for the mushroom room and select the call worker option. Death Slayer! Our mushroom operator just dropped a bag. But don't worry. That's a loot bag containing mushrooms. You'll need a stock room to store them. I happen to notice there's an old broken down stock room next to your mushroom room. Open the stock room's context menu and select repair. This will send a minion to repair the room. Oh, how fantastic! Now any worker who hasn't got more important things to do can go searching for loot bags and carry them to the stock room. Just watch that little bugger go! Oops! This must be one of Cruelly's minions posted as a sentry. Ooh, it's a berserker, no less. I want it. Quickly, attack it with a lightning bolt. Bring up the context menu of the enemy berserker and select the lightning icon. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? I will study the corpse and soon be able to teach you how to summon such creatures into your service. Build yourself a nursery while I dissect the corpse. That is a room allowing you to spawn minions of your own. To construct a new room, you can click the Management Mode button or you can... Hmm, let's see. You can smash the hotkey, whatever that is. And <laughs> this will sound totally deranged, but... Once you have selected to build the nursery, you're supposed to be able to rotate the room before placing it in the world. You do that by right-clicking before finally placing it with a click on the left button.
Oh, I almost forgot. The nursery needs a worker to do the actual nursing. Summon a new one and assign it to the room at once. Excellent. I'm done with my research. So bring up the context menu of the nursery. You should see the berserker listed among the basic units. Select it to spawn yourself a brand new berserker. One final note about the nursery. The spawning of units costs you some food, and the amount varies depending on what you spawn. Might be good to keep in mind. Adorable, your first little impling berserker. If you let him wander, he will attack any enemy he sees. <laughs> to make even better use of him, you should partner him with other units by assigning him to a squad. To add the berserker to one, open the squad's menu. Now, create another Berserker, but this time try spawning him using the management mode. Open the menu and click the Units button in the lower left of your view. Then click the Berserker icon. Once he's ready for action, go back to the Squads menu and assign it to the same squad. Excellent! You can assign up to four units to each squad, who then will begin to behave differently than they would as single units. They will help each other out, gain experience and special squad skills. Your squads will be on guard duty by default, but that may be changed in each unit's context menu or in the squad menu. But we'll get to that later. Now it's time to locate more of Cruelly's minions and squash them to goo. It's time to pay Malister cruelly a visit. To reach his cellar, you must order the workers to build a hallway. Start by clicking the squares I have highlighted for you, and our minions will get the job done. Gate. Deathslayer, remember that you are the only one who can interact with such objects. In order to gain access to the next part of the dungeon, you'll have to go there and pull the lever yourself. Then, take a look around. Fantastic! A new type of minion. Give me a moment to study the carcass, and you'll soon be able to summon them. There you have it! Now you can grow a scout from your nursery. Create one immediately before you finish cleaning out the area. <laughs> 